Hello and welcome to the Pirate King Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna the Golden Country DLC. Where last we left our heroes, we uh Man, the fuck did we do? We went and found a bunch of lost stuff. I don't know. But we're not continuing the story quite yet, because we got a lot more side quests, including one from Azurta here. Let's see what the big old dragon has for us. Oop, right into it. Oh, it's you lot. Thank you for meeting me here. Let's get right to business. You see that blight over there? Yeah, the guy I couldn't target when I got here. It was a little bother, and it's got me rather pinned down, I'm afraid. Oh, that's the wrong voice, but oh well. Would you possibly be able to clear it away for me? Can't you do it yourself? You'd think I'd be asking you if I could do it myself. Doesn't look that tough, though. I got the feeling there's more to this than you're letting on. Well, uh, yes, there may be. It's okay, Nuncle. We'll take care of it. Thank you. You're very kind to an old titan. Shall we go? We'll handle it in a jiffy. Consider it a favor. I was wondering why I couldn't target it. <laughs> Azerta SOS. I sure hope he actually tells me why he couldn't fight it himself. He's bigger than it. Spoiling for a fight. Happy to oblige. Yeah. Zoom out so we can see it. Hey, get read my mind. There we go. What? That, huh. I'm not gonna get that mega eruption. Oh well. Do this then. It's weak to wind. Hey, stop moving just a little bit away from me. I, you're getting out of range. <laughs> and it, I lost all the loot. Oh well. I wonder what's in store for us today. Good morning, Azerta. We just killed your little troublemaker over there. Thank you for that. I'm sorry you had to go through all the trouble for me. Phew, uh, that settles. I can finally leave. I have to ask, what exactly happened? Ahem, uh well, Jin, when you've lived as long as I have, bound to be one or two matters you find it uh, indelicate to talk about. Women. Now just wait a moment. How dare you assume like that, young man? Now, Minoth, don't pry. The Titan doth protest too much, methinks. I say I hit him, I'd hit the bullseye. Is there a special someone in your heart, Azurda? Hey, so while we're chatting, someone mentioned something about a fabulous hoard of money. What's that about? Ah, good. Good on you, Laura, making the connection. Oops, I just remembered somewhere I have to be. To go and meet Tarth, okay? To dip, to dip. Bye, Uncle. <laughs> I think we just killed a jealous ex or something. He's hiding something for sure. Should we find out what it is? I'm sure it's very complicated, whatever it is. Perhaps we should just trust that he has it under control. When I look at Nuncle, I think that many people in that maybe people in Titans aren't so very different after all. Blades too, of course. There's no reason we shouldn't all get along. I agree. It's a very positive outlook. When I look around at you guys, I can't help but believe it. Oh man, Azurda is finally joining us here. Really Tarith. Thank you. And Azurda. <laughs> okay, eleven left, which probably what? Okay, so it's not everyone. 
Uh, hold on. Huh, interesting. Maybe we haven't met everyone yet. By the way, uh, oh, hello there. Here he is, uh, the shopping ward. Okay, well, we're gonna be in the shopping ward anyway. Zerda SOS complete. How about next time you help your battery friends? chip? Oh, and physical defense three. Anything else? No? Okay. Let me give that a check. Uh first this battery chip. Huh. No, no, no. No. Nope. Okay. Um, you have a new max attack. Someone already has physical defense. You. Thought someone else did, but I guess not. Any max attack. Nope, two is our max. No one has evade at the moment. I really should go through and sell again, shouldn't I? Ah, Haze can get damage deal three damage heal three. I gave them dark Oh, I should probably take those off, shouldn't I? That was specifically for uh another fight. Don't really need that on now, huh? There we go. Dark defense and endurance. Uh what should I give you guys instead of this? Actually, damage hit is not a damage heal is not a bad idea. Okay, cool. So yeah, the main mission is right here in the center. We just gotta walk there. So I'm gonna try and get this first by going here. There's also going to be the other person I can add to my community. Or the community, I guess. Right. Oh. Where shall we head to next? Marcus, you have something new to say? Whoa! You guys haven't just helped me. You've helped all sorts of people, huh? Ah, oh, so frustrating. Uh, no, that's not it. I'm not frustrated that you're helping other people besides me. That's pretty selfish. Don't laugh, okay? There, there's a person I really want to be there for right now, and I just can't stop thinking about them. You guys help tons of people, and I only want to help one, but I can't. That's what's frustrating me. When you guys grow up, or when I grow up, I want to be just like you guys. You'll see. I'm going to be the best person I can. Aw. Alright. All right, we need to turn this in, too. Oh, it's you. Thank you for all your help earlier. A reinforced glass? Yeah, sure, I deal in that. Just give me a second. Right, there you are. Oh, yeah, don't worry about the price. It's thanks to you all that I can work my glass in peace now. It's the least I can do to thank you. You, you could come around again sometime and we could hang out. I mean, without all this business stuff. Nice. Since ancient times, Torna has always had the blessings of the Titan and lived in peace and prosperity. Whatever happened, we've always been able to overcome it with the Titan by our side, right? Well, this isn't official, but rumor has it we're building a powerful cutting-edge warship, and it's nearly done. Yeah, you just helped with that. So I think it's time, time two will be fine. And this time two will be fine, as long as we stick together. Yep, that's what the glass is for. For this guy. Hey, you brought the materials! Quick work! Helps a lot, thanks! That just leaves the helms- Huh? You got me one of those too, as well? She's waiting on Chikarber! Should have said so sooner! Would it could have been halfway there by now! Cool. Alright, so there's the other quest down there. 
I'm in the residential ward, I need to be in the shopping ward for that person. So we should pass them by on the way to that other side quest. And if we can avoid the main quest, I'll just... Well, probably don't need to avoid the main quest, to be honest. Hey, and I'm told now you managed to keep her favorite spot from being spoiled. I'm really glad she, can't, she can get out and about now, too. Makes a big difference. Looks like she has four brand new friends, too. Really put the spring back in a step. I know I'm gushing a bit here, but I feel as though I have, at least, I have to at least say thank you one more time, at least. And there we go. I won't lie. It feels good. All right. Yeah, looks like the border of the circle is actually the outer border, not the inner one, like I thought it would be. Oh, you're back in Aletta. I'll have to go and talk to you. And you're who we're about to talk to. Oh, we still got to talk to those guys too, huh? Um, we just did that. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff, huh? I also need to go and check in on that. Uh, Marumo? <clears throat> Friends all twinkly eyed and bright! Surely our hero is in the making! Receiving very much help here... Uh, you receive very much help here at Shop and Ward, and Sham and Marumo very, very thankful! And why Marumo wants to help friends out? Not talking about money or trade, just want to pay back kindness! If ever in trouble and need help, Marumo promise to lend hand. Please not to forget. Oh, it's her. Okay. Yeah. How can we get Miss Oral's spirits back to normal? Her eyes always look like a dead fish's. It's a chef's job to cook the fish, not be the fish. I, can I leave her like this? If I keep visiting her, she'll come around sooner or later. Can't go back to more ordained until she's better. I'll show you the true appetite an older chef has. All right, Miss Sorrel, what do you got for us? Oh, come on, I'm begging you. Just a small taste of one of your culinary masterpieces is all I'm asking. My dear Mr. Malton, you can, you can, you can keep on begging till the Arden come home, but it's not going to change anything. Oh, come on, lass. I told you I'm here. I came all the bleeding way from more ordained to partake in your fine food. I can't possibly go home without sampling Torna's most closely guarded secret. I'm not even risking my neck being here for architect's sake. Go on, make an exception just this one time for me. As I've mentioned numerous times, Mr. Moulton, it simply can't be done. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but what is it what is it exactly that's stopping you? Oh, Laura, Prince Adam. It's because of my parents. I left them in Porton Village and now they're They've passed on. I've been trying to get over the grief, but I can't. I just can't. I barely keeping together as is. Oh, that's rough. My deepest condolences. Even so, you cannot. Can I simply? Uh, you simply cannot continue to serve meals with such subpar taste. Subpar may it may be, but tell me, Mister Morton, how is it in relation to our daily cuisine? All right, you win this one. Zardini cuisine really that bad, Hugo? Mithra, your food was equivalent to it. And everyone apparently but you knows that your food is horrible. Ah, uh, or well, it's an acquired taste. I would have to say I'm quite fond of our delicacies, but it seems the public opinion differs. I can't really stomach it, I'm afraid. I'd take Jin's cooking over it any day. Obviously. It's obvious, is it? <laughs> Look, I know it sounds selfish of me to insist, but how long are you gonna keep this up, eh? These customers are coming to you. These customers are coming to you. They know how good you are, but look at what you're serving them. Everyone has to deal with hardships, and you more than others, but a good chef pr prides themselves on their food. Yes, but... I've got it! I know this might be hard on you, ma'am, but I may have a way to add a little zest to your cooking. Zest? By way of a cooking contest! Yes, give that man a medal! 
I'll happily front the reward money, and I'm sure we can borrow the inn for an evening we, if we ask nicely. That's to be an evening without him, is it? Well, let's not put that on the pamphlets. But moving on, Hugo and I could be the judges. And let's see... Sign me up, too! I came here to sample food. This may turn out to be the perfect opportunity for me. Done! But is this any... But is there anyone who would even want to participate in a food contest? At times, in times as dangerous? Absolutely! <gasps> don't let the, don't let his looks fool you. Jin here happens to be a very talented cook. M me? Oh, no, I'm... Come on, Jin, help them out here. You'll be doing everyone a huge favor. I really want to see you put, to, put your skills to the test. Mm. Very well, then. That's our Jin! Next, we'll have to ask around the capital so who else might be, be interested in taking part. Will you be joining us, Miss Sorrel? Mm hmm. I suppose. I'm quite curious to see what, this, what the extent of the Paragon of Torna's skills with the light Leyland spatula. This is getting rather exciting. But hey, hold up a sec. Yes, Mithra? Aren't we forgetting someone here? Oh, you must mean Aegean. Hey, you're right. Aegean can make, make a mean fish pie. We'll have to see if we can get him on board and. Not him, me! You better watch out, Jin. Because I'm going to sneak up and steal that victory from right under your nose. Uh. Hey, watch it. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face. I'm serious. I'm bringing my A-game. Well, now that we have some real challengers, why don't we return to the inn and talk this through? Fine by me. Oh, <laughs> this is shaping up even better than I imagined. The great torn and cook off. We never turn a blind eye to people in need. I can't believe it. Of course, there'd be something like this. Cooking being a big part of like except uh, other things we can get. All right, so there's some other stuff we need to do as well, but this takes place right here. So I might as well, yeah. Uh, we need to talk to the guy up, up top? It should have something over his head if it... Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Great Tornin cook-off. Head for the basement of Speffin Inn in Torna decided okay well all right I uh, didn't see it there we'll be back anyway one thing I need to do is go and talk to some people up here which I could have just gone up the front but that would have activated the main quest here you are Bah, fa bah, fancy ditching your old mate just because you get a girlfriend. Pretty lame if you ask me. Ah, it's you lot. You helped out before Leo's, that Leo business, didn't you? Was that? Someone wants to join our posse. It's a young lady? Hmm, maybe life's just about to start for old Azarn. I mean, I better ask a few questions to make sure. Don't want to rush in like you know who. I'm going to need to apply a little test just for my peace of mind, you see. Nothing too difficult, just a few questions. I just want to find out a little bit about her passion for the bard's life. Not everyone's built for it, you know. The answer to these questions let me let me know if she's serious or just one of these fly-by-night dilettantes. Okay, brace yourself. Plays excellent flute. Flute, eh? Actually, I think the delicate timber of the flute would be a good compliment to my stuff. Okay, next question. Is she a wallflower or a limelight hog? Usually shy, but a confident performer. Ah, sounds like a contradiction, but a lot of performers are like that. I'm the same sort. Usually I'm reserved, but when I have an audience, I open right up. Okay, next. How about this? How does she feel about leaving Torna? She's keen to visit far-off towns. Hmm, okay, I see. From what you've told me, she sounds like she'd make a crack and bard. There'll be a fire replacement for that turncoat, Leo. Even better, maybe. 
Well, I'll let her know she's good news. Let her know the good news from this day forth. She's my new buddy. Never had a girl in the group before, so I'll make our lives rosier. He doesn't know she's a nopon. Also, the Bard Factor is just an excellent name for a quest. And she's over here. Hey Lee, a zone want to partner up with Rikoko? Oh, because of this career prospects of Rikoko are much improved. Then Rikoko can huff and puff flute in many far off towns and other exotic locations. Thanks to you. Oh. Is it done? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Thank you. There's gotta be a follow-up for that. I guess the other two are already in the community. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Breakstone? What could that be? Um, I could have looked a different way, but... Auto attack damage by 60. Okay, it's a better assault stone. Wonder if I should switch that around, and put it on Laura. Now let's see if she's actually up here with those two. Don't know why Leo's being considered a turncoat. He's they're still playing together right there. Yep, here we go. Ah, oh, it's so unfair! I really thought my life was about to start. She was just a no pod. What, isn't that cute, you say? Well, yeah, sure she's cute, but not the kind of cute that makes me get out of bed in the morning! Huh? You never said what species the girl in question belonged to. But, well, yeah, okay, I guess you all, all you said was there a young lady who wants to join our posse. Oh, Architect, I'm sorry. Seems I rushed to conclusions, got myself too excited. So I was so keen to move on from Leo, let my imagination run away with me. Well, whatever. Rikoko's flute playing really is top notch, so we're back in the door, back in the barding business for the long haul. <laughs> Your friends not mention Rikoko was no pawn. Rikoko here, Zon was not happy about it. Meh, Rikoko is lady and perfectly capable one too, so why does Zon care? But Rikoko make beautiful sound huffing and puffing on flute. Even a Zon appreciate that. Zon is closed mind but very serious about music and technique. Good partner to for Rikoko. Rikoko, study hard and become great minstrel one day. Show us on what Rikoko is made of. Good for you. Aren't we in I know the drill. Okay. Um, ba 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 ba. Hold on. Right, taking a look at these. We could go check in on this one, see if we have enough community yet. Probably don't. Um, uh, there's some Parasax and Brain Canyon. We need a fight. Go to Yanchik Harbor for this one. I do think I can. I want to do that. Gotten promise. We need Eternity Loam from the Lofton Nature Preserve. And then there's this, which we just need to go to the inn. Okay, first we're actually going to go to this one, Nyanchik Harbor. The inn is a strict, is a skip travel point. We can go back there whenever. Nyanchik Harbor is also where the other, the the no pun is for that other quest. So if this one doesn't start right away, I might talk to them first. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Hello, Mac Mac. Uh, still not enough. Okay, still not enough. Next community level, then. Did you look at that! Thanks to your help, we got ourselves a ship! Wow, no kidding, she's a beauty. Haha, <laughs> of course she is, made it myself, I did. Though there's a, still a few bits I'd like to polish up, seeing as how I made her in a bit of a hurry. 
Well, now, she's much grander than I'd expected. Oh, there, oh there's Miss Makila. Or Makila, I don't know. Makia? Allow me to introduce you. This is your new helmswoman, Miss Mac. What? You? Helmswoman? Hey there, sunny boy. Still skint as a badger, I see. We know each other. Know each other? She used to sponge off my master's charity once, a, uh, once upon a time. Since then, we... Keep meeting. Well, anyhow, she's a great smuggler. She'll get anything anywhere, though obviously a, for a considerable fee. Mind not painting me like I'm some miser... Mi Mind not painting me like I'm some miserly gold digger, dear? Your master asked me to work with you, so be civil. And so to business. What are we smuggling today? Weapons? Bullion? I've got a policy against carrying monsters, just so you're aware. They make so much racket. Stop being daft! It's people, okay? My, the fighting's reached our shores, so I want to be ready to help evacuate the townsfolk when the time comes. Obviously, this one boat isn't enough, but it, even one's a start. We'll, we'll try to make more later as well. Hmm. So you'll run like a scared rat and leave Torna to sink? You don't get it! So long as Torna and survive, wherever they settle will be home enough. <laughs> okay then. So what are we actually smuggling? So what we're actually smuggling is a nation. Really now, sonny boy? Ah, uh, you know what? I like the cut of your jib. Very good. I'll pitch in with your venture. Right then, let's see what we're working with. I see. So Quinn's been building boats for, to help his countrymen. Don't give me too much credit. I just want to do whatever I can, that's all. The way I see it, there's only one... Only so much leaders can do in a crisis. If we wait for them, uh, wait for them to act. We might as well help. Might as well come too late. I think you're too humble. Not many people would take it upon themselves to put a plan, plan like this into action. Oh well, gosh, thanks. I think the key key thing is that you can't wait for the perfect solution. We might end up waiting forever. I cannot tell if he's a visionary or simply somewhat deluded. I just think you keep at it, and eventually you'll get there. You just have to believe in yourself. Oh, so it's all about self-confidence, huh? Hey, both of them. Thank you. A Quinn or a Keen? I don't know. Well, this is awkward. And Maquilla or Makia? Who knows? Both of them could have a Spanish pronunciation. I'm not sure. Okay. Right. Got a few places to go on our way back. Oh, hello. Oh, check it out, Mick. You really made a brand new boat. Aren't you glad we came? Mm. Why did they give us that little bit right at the end there? Oh, love hate sausage. Ah. Addictive. Okay. So, looking at the rest of these. I'm, okay, I know it. Wait. Why am I still. Why is it still here? It's not done? Oh, we gotta go and talk to Arm. Okay. Cool. Alright. And you are. Okay. I know where this is. It's in a letter. Oh, and there's new quests around here too. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be up over here. Oh, it, it is. It's just closer on that map. All right, let's go here first. The old new people to talk to. <sighs> Where shall we head to next? Aren't we in I'm something of an expert. I believe it's the person over there. No? Okay. Aunt Rene a pretty a really pretty hair. And it smells good too. She used flower oil and good smelling water to make her hair all shiny. Mama says I mustn't copy her, but 
He never said how come. Grown ups are always telling you do, telling you what you can't do. I'm never gonna be like that, not ever. No, no, the other one. Here we go. Hey, my dog talking in his sleep. Call my mom's name and then says sorry to her. Not sure what I should do if I should do anything like at all. It sucks. Why do I have to still be a kid? If I was a grown up, I'd know what to do. If I was a driver like you guys, I definitely know what to say to make everything okay. Yeah, that that makes no difference whatsoever. Jolly's been acting odd lately. He won't eat, he won't eat with me. Truth is, I think he's avoiding me. Well, uh, oops. <laughs> Glock Augustus for even suggesting the idea, but you can't take a drunkard's words to heart. You got me thinking, though. What I should be asking is Callie. He's the only one who knows what's wrong. Alright, fair enough. Uh. Kids, stay calm and just do what the grown ups tell you! The grown ups, uh, let me think. No! What's happening? Who, oh, Prince Adam? There's a monster attack down to the harbor! It's pandemonium! We just came from the harbor. Pandemonium, you say? They're just some urchins! I count just three of them. Why would so few of them chance an attack on a settlement? Maybe the rest of their pack somewhere else? We have a good chance of getting through, of getting some reinforcements through. How many evil bodies have you got, Noel? Most of them are already on, on the other, out on other duties, I'm afraid. Okay, I want everyone available to help with the evacuation. Leave the monsters up to us. Uh, maybe I should stay here at the lookout. I'll be more use here, I reckon. Okay, you can sit tight here then, but promise me one thing. If it starts to look dicey, retreat. That's an order. Yes, your majesty. We're all clear then. We'll see you later, Null. Null? Null? I don't know. I said I'd Travails do it. of War. Consider it done. <clears throat> hmm. Like, yeah, we'll track it. It'll be over soon enough. Um. Level 37. Wandering Urchin. Oh, I remember I hate these guys. Wanted to get all three with that. Oh well. Yeah, we got this. Look up. Rest in peace. Let me magnify it. Oh, should have repositioned. Oh well. Come on! Oh, that's not what I wanted, but oh well. I think I've—I feel like I've never seen these guys actually toppled, because I never had a topple person equipped in the main game, or I did, and it just didn't do it very well. It's the end of it. Prince Adam, Laura. Your Majesty, that was incredible! I didn't doubt you for a moment! The power of such poise! Oh, haha! <laughs> There's nothing special, really! You didn't come all the way over here just to say that, did you? Ah, uh, right, yes! Uh, more trouble! Monsters are coming in from the opposite side now! So they did bring in reinforcements, just as I thought. Friends of the ones we just took, maybe? Not the usual sort of monster either. we see around here, either! Not a local monster. I have a bad feeling about this. Still, we better head out there. No! I'll ask you to keep watch again. If you spot anything, let me know about it right away. Yes, your majesty, I won't let you down. Okay. But why are you here, then? I'm not going back up to the lookout. Oh, hello. Some ropples. Yeah. 
Right, they topple themselves. Hey, actually launched it. the last of them. None of this makes any sense. What are Leftharian monsters doing here? It's a whole ecosystem gone out of whack. Wouldn't surprise me one bit now with the Aegis running riot. Monsters lose their home, so they fight for another's territory. Then that lot in your new land, it's a vicious cycle. So Tornin monsters are losing their traditional habitats and flowing into Leftharia. And they're displacing Leftharian monsters who wind up here? Perhaps then we should follow this disorder to its root in Leftharia. So I guess we aren't the only ones that lose our homes because of war. Now each country will need to defend itself against not only against Mallows, but from displaced monsters too. We have even less time than I thought. Prince Adam! Laura! Yet more monsters have shown up! This time they've gotten inside! Ah, give me a break! There there can't be that many of them left now. Let's give them the coup de gras. Yeah, one more assault. All right. You grab these first. Aren't we intrepid? Uh oh. Flying ones. Wandering Leia. Legion scatter. I feel you. You read my mind. Shake. Ready. Look out. You see me. Chain attack, you say. Topple. Always great to topple the flyers. Launch ice. Oh yeah, fusion combo. Nice. Reminds me, Hugo. Did you ever overcome your fear of you know what? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Aspar, didn't you once tell me about how one slithered out from under your pillow? Th that was a long time ago. Just forget it. Interesting. We didn't even fight Aspar. Prince Adam, I'm for Hugo. We're so very sorry to have beleaguered you with such trouble. I assure you it won't happen again. Don't stand on ceremony so much, Kalina. Anyway, the damage doesn't seem to be too great. Right, Hugo? It is so. The war novices were ably defended, despite our numbers. There are a few breaches, mine. It's all right. The important thing is that you and Kalina are alive and well. You did a great job and you're both still in one piece. Don't be so hard on yourself. Your oh, Majesty. It means a lot to me, Your Majesty. Only I had your wisdom and bravery. Maybe I'd be able to do a bit more to help my prince and my people. No, don't do yourself down. You are brave. That's right, your, ma uh, your majesty. He hasn't a hope of holding a candle to your qualities. Thanks, Kalina. Really nicely put, that is. But anyway, I, I feel like I witnessed true heroes in action today. Keep that up, Malice doesn't have a chance. We aren't as powerful as you, Prince Adam, but when the time comes, we'll give everything we've got. That's right. We believe in you, Prince Adam. You're the one that can create a peaceful future for us. I really appreciate that. I promise to do everything I can to make that future a reality. Okay. Much appreciated. No. 
I am honored. And Kalina. Nice. Oh, only two left in Gormont. Hmm. Uh. Wait. Didn't you have something? Or are we? Or is it about to come back since this got in the way? The care hangs heavy on your face, Prince. Well, I'm pleased that they trust me, but from time to time, I wonder if they're wise to do so. I don't even know if I can live up to this ideal that everyone has of me. Only human, not a god. I come up against my limits every single day. Mortal men, and not divine, but set apart by blood and nobility. Prince Adam, you should hold up your head with pride before the people. Resolute and unbowed. Such is the burden of one who leads his people. A heavy burden indeed. But that's the way it is. Yeah, not many people realize it's tough to be royal. It's about to be the biggest responsibility. It's about the biggest responsibility you can shoulder. But at least you don't have to bear it alone. Some things will always be difficult, but whatever's heavy can be made lighter when friends help to carry it. Wise words, Laura. I knew you'd say something like that. Oh, Lady Laura, I just love those nuggets of wisdom. I agree. Nothing is easy in life, but still, we strive ever onwards, aiding one another in whatever way we can. To be the hands of his majesty, to share it in both his joys and sorrows, it's the foundation of our honor. My most loyal subjects. This old driver and blade thing, we're almost like one person in two bodies, don't you think? So you just need to let me take a little of that... Take a little of that burden sometimes, no? Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? Stop bottling it up, Adam. Hey, you guys. I'm just realizing what a lucky man I am to have such friends. Thank you, thank you all. That was touching. I'm just happy we made someone happy. You're a light chip. Eternity Perfume, that's someone's favorite. Um, critical damage. Two Euro Light Chips. Oh, that's an increase! And increases luck, I guess. Let's see what else we got. Not that improves the effects of healing arts. You are our only healer. Yes, you're getting that. Um, boost aggro draw, not bad. Silence gun knives. Great. Oh, that's not better at all. Um, maybe not you. You have a better one already. Maybe you? Yeah, it doesn't drop your crit mate crit rate quite as much. Yeah. Let's let's silence those guns. Knives. I haven't checked this in a bit. Oop. I'll make you even prouder. Everything level three. Fifty, twenty-two, thirty-three. So I need twenty-two for the next one. So one thousand more exactly from what I currently have. Aha! Critical hit rate during a chain attack. Okay. Probably get this one. Yep. Now he can use all of his arts starting at the beginning of battle. Cool. I didn't forget any pouches, right? Okay, good. Oh, it's your lot! Heard about those Lotharian monsters that attacked. 
Wish they turned up when I was around. I'd be way more interested in my usual monster duty. Thanks to those monsters, we got some great info about where our defenses and preparations are lacking. Don't worry, it's all been taken care of. So we're all out with Hedwin. Maybe now we can grab some of the glory for ourselves instead of making you lot do all the heavy lifting. Maybe. Here you are. Lieutenant. Ahoy, Lieutenant Vronka! How's the situation? Lord Adam, what are you doing here? Well, after all that happened in the capital, I wanted to make sure everything was in order with the ranks of the militia. That's very thoughtful, Lord. In fact, we do have a small issue. How small are we talking, though? Ever since Malus's strike on the capital earlier, the militia has been hemorrhaging people at a steady clip. Just now, a soldier came to me saying he wants to leave to go back to his country. Made me want to grab him by the shoulders give him a good shake. He knew what he signed up for. Easy now, Franca. It should come as no surprise. Witnessing Malus's true strength would have anyone quaking. It would take a stricter man than me to try and keep them here against their better judgment. But okay, let's talk numbers. How many have we lost? Four frontline fighters and two camp guardsmen. Six in total. I'd like to secure more personnel as soon as possible, but with things the way they are, it doesn't seem too likely. Hmm. Very well, in that case, we will canvass the area for new candidates. N no, my lord, you mustn't trouble yourself with such trifles. It's okay, Vronka. I feel like I've been relying on you too heavily in Marius Militia. In times of trouble, I feel it's only fair I should I should show some leadership. I understand. If you insist, your lord. If you insist, lord. The fact that they don't say my lord doesn't it, it makes it roll off the tongue not quite as well. Excuse me. So what are we looking for then? All right, let's see. I think the most important quality would be having a bold and fearless spirit. Spirit? You don't want skill or intelligence? In times of peace, yes, those would be desirable qualities for sure. But where we are now, we must stand against the Aegis, an overwhelmingly imposing foe. What we need is men with the courage to face those odds, not even flinch. Certainly! That's the department where our departees must have been lacking. On the other hand, we are, after all, an army. So a sense of discipline will also prove indispensable. No matter how brave, a single soldier is nothing they, if they can't cooperate and follow orders to the letter. I see your meaning. Then we will look for spirited and cooperative human resources. That's right, my lord. Uh, there, there may be some left in the capital who wish to join our cause. Very well then, leave it to us. It's as good as done. We'll definitely go to the only other place we ever see people. Just about. Making up the numbers. Let's see what we have here. Uh, nine. Okay. You to talk to in a collection point here. Aren't we in trying something of an expert? Wow. I made him kind of sound like Bane, I think. Lord Adam, Lady Law, I often hear rumors about you. It's glad to see you all well. Lord Adam, I was thinking maybe it's time we should chronicle your adventures for posterity's sake. I could read them to my dear old grandmother. She'd love to hear about the impressive people I work for. Well, my memory's not up to much, and I'm not really a gifted writer either, truth be told. How can I keep a record, I wonder? Ah, damn. I'm leaving soon. Oh. And I'm not go really getting anywhere with this. I've got it. You think you could tell me some of your stories? Oh, your loose end. It would be such a great help if you could. Uh, sure. Okay. Let's go here next. Uh, hmm. Let's go to camp first. We haven't been to camp in a while. We've gotten a lot more things that we can craft. Uh, I'm a bit more used to it now, but it was hard for me to adapt to giving instructions to people. When you're on the battlefield, you have to make snap decisions and judgment. That takes guts. It's terrifying to think you can miss that your own misjudgment could lead to someone's death. Lord Adam's strength helped me trust myself. 
It always seems like he knows just what to do. What a first heard his majesty had lain with an ordinary farm and last without a campaign. Came as a shock. Nowadays, it seems to me fresh a few people think ver think much of that scandal. Because you grew up amongst the common folk, Prince Adam, you have a humility rare among the noble class. The ease in which you relate with the populace is a great boon, drawing supporters from far and wide. Even though I never dreamed you would one day lead a united army of soldiers from many nations. No small task to keep such a diverse group of soldiers in check, I can assure you on that much. How did it come to this? I was only hired to be the prince's manservant. Somehow that led to my looking after a letter in your absence, and lately I find myself attending to the militia itself. Sometimes I almost forget what my actual job is supposed to be. I thought you were the doctor. <laughs> okay, crafting. So many new things. Let's get down to business. Hello, charm. Okay, I need to wait first. I'm just gonna look for things first. Stir fry. Telepathic bell. Gaining trust in battle, increase it. Oh, we have more than enough for that. I've got what it takes to work the land. Nice. Love hate sausage. Knight of Torna, and preparing for the worst. Oh yeah. And fun. And fun. Now, who'd make a good lead? Here we go. Increase enemy detection range with the jamming megaphone. Max pouch items raised by 10. Hold on. Okay. The armored rucksack. Success. An increased gold earned in battle by 10% with a golden mug. Success. Which I really don't need. I don't use the fucking gold. Eternity perfume. I was so self-absorbed. I almost burnt it to cinders. I think I've done reasonably well. That's a lot of affinity stuff. Okay. Mechanical charm. Three, two, one, and we're done. I'll make another. This came out very well. Some hollow charms. All things considered. Pretty good. All things considered. This came out very well. Pretty good, all things considered. Three, two, this came out very well. Three, two, one, and... Pretty good, all things considered. Pretty good, all things considered. Okay. So the energy stir fry, what am I missing? Nest extract, we can get that easily enough. It came together nicely. It came together nicely. Just taste it. Uh, I need nest extract. And Marin fish meat. Ugh. I need, to get, I need to fight more Marin. A bunch of things need that. I can make all of her perfumes. Quite a bit of them, too. But I think I'm good with what I have. I just need Marin fish meat. Marin fish meat. Is that it? Okay. Um, how do you like it? How do you like it? Okay. <coughs> Think it's time? Certainly seems that way. Time for what? Time for the final confrontation with Malos. The preparations for the evacuation of Torn are well underway. I managed to circumvent a lot of the difficulties thanks to Laura. Our chances in a confrontation with Malos seem to grow ever larger. Yeah, it's true. But Malos isn't just going to wait for us forever. I feel like I'm going to get pins and needles if I have to sit on my hands any longer. 
You need to face it up, face up to this now. It's make or break time. His Majesty puts forth that we should return briefly to the capital. Well, let's head there then. Okay, so that leads into just walking into the capital starts the next bit of the story. And I don't need to do that yet. I'm trying to avoid it. Even though I... Oh, wow, we had a lot built up. 56, not bad. I can still improve. I Four levels. The future yeah. I don't actually know. It might give us another breaking point. Um, but okay. I feel like I need to do everything right now. 56? Not bad. Maybe I should try fighting that snake again. Oh. Mm. Nah. What we are gonna do is go to Hyber Village and go north. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Must we? Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. Aren't we intrepid? <sighs> Aren't we intrepid? I know the drill. Nope. Oh. Hello. That's a tiny pair of sacks. That's not what I expect them to look like. Should have moved a bit better. Yep, there's more. You guys just fight that thing, I'll go collect the loot. Are there more? Of course there's more! Well, that totally missed. Just keep coming! Ugh, you take out one and two more take its place. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Well, I could always go ahead and use my full power. If you did that, nobody would be getting through for years. Well, yeah, but... I just thought of something. There should be something about it in my journal. If I remember correctly, there's a particular smell that, te that Teza Parasax absolutely can't stand. That's something we could use. You mean to keep 
You mean to keep them away so they don't attack us? That's what I was thinking. This stuff is called pestronella oil. Like citronella oil, except for pests. Hmm. We'd have to gather the ingredients for it. Adam, do you happen to know where one might find the pestronella plant? I'm pretty sure I've heard of pestronella blooming in the Vernon Fairylands. Then perhaps we should retreat for now and consider this option. Absolutely. Let's go and gather some pestronella. Bridget can make the oil, and then we can come back here and try it out on these pesky things. Good plan. Let's go. Okay. You can now collect it whenever I like. Excellent. It'll only be in a specific spot. Oh. Okay. We done? Nope. Recipe. Okay. Huh. I cannot disregard my support duties either. Finished off ten enemies. Cool. Yep, and make everything you can craft. So only three more for that. Only got to use that twice more. Well, Verdant Fairylands are up there. I know there's at least one other enemy out here somewhere that I need to fight. I think it's one of those big ants all. Also, yeah, there's another place I want to check out after this bit. A place I don't think we fully explored. Whoop! All right. We'll have a different color. There we go. Aren't we intrepid? Oh, these plants. Aren't we intrepid? Already fought as many of you as I needed. Chest that I already opened. Pestronella plants look weird. This is becoming addictive. I don't know how much we need, so I'm just getting all of it. Aren't we intrepid? Aren't we intrepid? Oh. I needed all of it. Aren't we Nature makes a fine ally. Okay. The brake sands are down there. What was the thing I needed in that area? Ooh, these are really Moorish. That is farther than I thought. But we're alive. Oh, that's the quicksand. I definitely went off the wrong way. It was it the rope that I needed? Vents rope? You know what? I think it is. We're gonna fight these things. Yes, this should be no one. 
Yep, there we go. I was right. Oh, two of you. I was right for one of you. The other is a bonus. Yeah, it was definitely you. Yep, Venthropal. I wish only to use this in the service of his Max Affinity ten times. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. But I can't I can't go up that way, so I have to go this way. That shadow. There is a Marin up there. Oh, hello. I believe it's that big antol there that we need. Yep, three tentall. This shouldn't take long. I feel you. Yeah, we got this. Not working. How is that? Why not unleash an elemental attack? I don't know yet. You are not Oh, I should have waited half a second to use that move. Oh well. I'm not sure if that counts because I didn't finish the attack. It died too quickly. Boom! Two and one! Unneeded. Oh, we are still in battle. Nice. Oh, very good. Huh, interesting. Why did they attack that? There it is. Wanna see how it does now? That was for the Greed Sansols. Then use it and use it before we get to these. You're the only one who doesn't have a use it on the top row. It's all defeating things. Use it's just here. What's this? Blade combo finisher. Huh. Yeah, I barely ever get a dark finisher. Huh. Okay. So I knew that's what I needed there. And... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Alright, just... Uh, oh! Need to make it. Easy enough. Um, go back, talk to Arb in the gardens. I know where that is. Make up the numbers. Uh, ten potential recruits. And... Turned you low. Okay, so we're in the right area for this one. Uh, sort of. We're sort of in the right area. We're in the right map. But I'm actually gonna go... here. By fast traveling. <laughs> Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. This is becoming addictive. Eternity Loom, number one. Aren't we intrepid? Number two. <laughs> the 
This is becoming a day. I'm something of an expert. Number three. This is becoming addictive. I feel like they should give us other stuff, not just the item. This is becoming addictive. And number four. Excellent. Okay. So now I believe we should go back to the capital. Um. She's over there. Let's go here. There's a guy we gotta talk to over here. That was a nice change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again. This guy. Arb. Oh, ho, ho, ho. looks like everything worked out quite well, I see. Oh, young lady. How about you? Do you know yet what you want to accomplish? Uh, no. No, I don't quite yet. But I know I'll be thinking about it. Up until now, I was focused on survival. That didn't leave much time for setting goals and personal objectives. See? There's no shame in that. Whichever way the world turns, I hope you'll always stay true to yourself. We must be strong yet supple. That phrasing. Could it also apply to water now? It bends around obstacles, yet does not break. Truly yours is the most interesting mind! I do wish we could make time to talk about our leisure. I... I mustn't have my... Don't fidget so, Aegean. You're not a mere instrument for responding to my orders and demands. You can do as you please. Exactly, Aegean. His Majesty can, per can perfectly well make do with just me for a time. Mm. Sir Aegean, was it? Is it perhaps that you don't believe we could become fast friends? Not at all. Let us retire now, for there is much to speak of, kind sir. Hey. I do only what his majesty asks of me. Arr. Oop. Okay. Yeah, all the all those around there are probably people I have to talk to for specifically that other quest. Planning for the future complete. It has been our learning. Experience. Scarlet Rocket. Ah, for him. Has it sunk in yet? It's thanks to your support the people here have grown so happy and full of life. More than individual efforts, your presence has given us all a valuable sense of security. I'm excited to see what the future holds for the tournament people. Okay. Who's that I need to talk to? Hey, it's you guys! How about it then? Keeping the gardens nice and tidy, aren't we? Leave a love for me and my dad. You know, it's funny. I never used to think very much of this place. Wait, is that the voice I gave him? Or did I give him a Krillin type voice? You know, it's funny. I never used to think very much of this place, me. I never thought it was anything special. That all changed when I saw the old man busting a gut to fix his place after it got all wrecked. If I ever see an idiot just so running around here again, I'll feed him a knuckle sandwich, see if I don't. Uh, want me to put my money where my mouth is and join the militia? Well, you don't beat around the bush. That's just it's you asking. Alright, well I do feel like I want to repay you guys, and I would love to give the bloody Aegis a bloody nose. But on the other hand, working here in the gardens is also important to me. Uh, hold up. If I was gonna leave, does that mean I have to persuade my old man first? Ugh. I'm not looking forward to that. It'll bash me up proper, I bet. Sorry to keep you hanging, but do you think I could have a bit longer to think about it? If I decide to take the plunge, by some miracle manage to convince Dad not to kill me, I'll report to the camp. Cool. Yeah, I should track that quest. Hey. 
Hey Onyx, mind if we take some of your soldiers to be in the militia? Yes, you do mind? Ah, never mind. You! That's what your purpose is! You wanna talk to me? Eh, do I wanna join the militia? No. Sorry, out of luck there, mate. Anyway, I got business in, in, in this town that needs attended. Hope you find someone out. Hmm? Bring skills a few others good. Alright, alright, since you put it that way, guess I can't brush you off. Go on then. Consider it, I'll consider it at least. Don't hold your breath. Hey, Quinn. Akila's personality has mellowed out a bit lately. Uh, she used to be out of control. Total bad egg. She stole and manipulated people on a daily basis, believe me. I was one of her victims, so you know it's true. Of course, the one who really bore the brunt of it was my master. Well, I've only come to realize that recently. I think maybe she just didn't know any other way to behave around people. She must have had a rough life. You think you know someone, but you really just scratch the surface. People sure are confusing. And these speech bubbles that are just people we're, we're overhearing this stuff is just so big on the screen. It covers up everything. I don't like it. <laughs> I've seen other games do it where where um dialogue just kind of pops up where you're walking around. Actually, Final Fantasy 7 remake did it, but what it did was have it just pop up on the side of the screen. Like a like a chat, <laughs> like where I normally have chat. Uh which was much better. Didn't get in the way of things. Hey there, something troubling you? Say again? Unless you're short on people, you're looking for volunteers. I gotcha, doing this right now. Is that how you thought this would go? Militia's basically an army. That means is that you're always expected to fight. I don't really want ties with that kind of organization again. But, if I flat out refuse, it'd hurt my reputation, wouldn't it? Alright then. I promise to think it over. Just don't get your hopes up. I think that's going to be everyone's answer. I'll think it over. Just don't get your hopes up. Ah, night time. I do love a bit of peace and quiet. Well, while we are here, let's do the cooking competition. We can. Oh, oh, I just had to walk in here. Right. We got to think of something that really knocked the judges to six. Oh yes, wouldn't it be delightful if we won? Why are you two getting so fired up over this? Too lighten up, Jin. It's just a bit of fun. Cooking contests are all about appealing to the judges' tastes. We have to pick carefully. Yes, very true. The judges are Master Adam, Lord Hugo, and Mr. Malton. Furthermore, from what Master Adam told me, the renowned gourmet Omnom will be attending the event! Oh, great! Oh, that only makes sense. A renowned gourmet? Yeah, I hear there'll be a few others showing up as well. It'll be difficult to work out of uh, out the preferences, but I know for a fact that Adam loves his pan fried tartare. Pan fried tartare. Mouth watering, isn't it? So soft and succulent. Yes, it's quite exquisite. I've always wanted to try my hand at that. Could be a good opportunity. Yeah, go for it. But for the ingredients, I need bulifo beast meat and rogel bird meat. Ideally, we'd want weeping flour and nest extract and barbed tomatoes, too. Damn it! Damn it with the barbed tomatoes! I definitely used up all that we had. Damn it. Mmm, I can always taste it melting in my mouth. Melting my mouth. Lady Lord, just occurred to me. Yes, Ace? What if the other particip participants decide on the same strategy as ours? You think they might prepare the exact same meal? Yes, I su supposing they do? Well, it still won't be a problem if our Tartaria outclasses the rest of them, right? But if we do all, do all make the same dish, it does lower our chances of success. Or it makes it a fair fight. How about a dessert, then? Yes, dessert, I approve. Great! And whose favorite would that be? I know I'd love it. Me too! I don't really do sweet dishes normally. Uh, though it couldn't hurt to try. What would, be what would we be making specifically? I could bake a cake I once saw in Uriah. Would that do? 
the ingredients, I'd need cranberry bells, rusk of flour, and some more weeping flour. And finally, some lozian honey and a few lacta nuts. That sounds divine. What do you think, Lady Laura? Which is our best bet? Hmm, we have to choose between the two, won't we? Hmm. What do you think, Jin? What would we be happier with? Hmm. A pan fried tartare would be easier to make, but I'd say we have a good chance with either choice. Hmm, that's not making it any easier. Well, if we're still on the fence, why don't we make both and decide which one to serve at the last moment? Not a bad idea. Alright, let's do that. We can meet back here at the inn once Jin prepared the meals. Excellent! Best of luck, Jin. Yeah. Fried tatari a la Jin and wingberry cake. Great. Means I have to make those. And I'm definitely missing some things. I miss oh the back alley and I feel like that guy wasn't there when we passed by before wait the back alley are we gonna try and recruit the full muscapon I'm gonna talk to this guy first Luke you I remember you you might actually join man those malefic malicious soldiers are just too groovy when the Aegis came raining and stupid destruction everywhere, those drivers and blades were so... So... It was so groovy too! Wait a second, that's... You! You're those drivers and blades! Say what? Have I got an interest in the militia? Vaguely. See, up until now I had my side set in the tour and army. Took the entrance exam three years running. Seeing you guys in action the other day it was like... Man, being in the militia could be pretty bodacious too. So yeah, a bit of a bind, frankly. I didn't think I could give you an answer right this second, you dig? Can I have some time to mull it over? Don't worry, I know where the militia's camped out. Make my mind up to join, I'll just head over there, yeah? Cool. Alright. Oh. Hey look, scary lady from before! Truth, truth! Just remembering now, Yoko Yoko Spring Little Leak and Pantaria. Just Laura will do, thank you. Tell me, friends! Since the last time we met, have you thought about what you want to do? Well, want to do? Like new pranks to pull? Yeah, we think it uh, any good way to achieve complete do domination over townspeople. Bunch of troublemakers, aren't they? Still, though, they sound quite gutsy. Say, boys, how would you like to use those guts in service of the militia? Militia? What's that? Is tasty? Um, how should I explain this? The militia is sort of a bunch of people who love justice. Justice? Indeed, justice! They are men and women of the highest caliber, all mighty and elegant warriors. Mighty? Elegant? And right now, the militia could use brave and capable people like you boys to serve as squires and the like. Big Brother Paul, what do? If me, if ask me, whole things smell fishy. Exactly! We have to be real mush for brain for a pawn to believe such nonsense. Meh meh. Big Bro Pawn, please not, please don't tell you actually consider it. Hmm. Ruru think it's super idea. Meh? Seems like. Always one in every family. What ho? Oh, you decided to sign up then? No, no way! It was low down mean cheap trick! Not count! Big bro pawn easy to rope in with big words like elegant or mighty is too easy to exploit! Now we know story, man. It's enough for today! Of course, you should discuss this carefully amongst yourselves! <coughs> <coughs> oh man, hold on a sec. Ah. And if you decide to do the right thing, just come to the militia camp anytime. You know we'll be waiting. Got a whole scene for that one. I don't know how I've been almost accurately remembering all the voices I've been choosing. Side. Um...
I'm somehow going to be able to just avoid the uh, the main mission most of the time. The lazy guy! Oh, wait, don't we also have to talk to you? Let's talk to you first. Go through the desert without much issue, but then... We got, oh, right, we're still still waiting. On, okay, we're not done with that yet. We need to make something. Or <sighs> the warehouse is such a snooze fest. I do like snoozing, as somebody said. Yeah, I guess I lucked out. What? Well, you know, a job would be perfect for me. Wow, oh, who knew militia gave you three meals and naps a day? Except unless uh, unless when stipulated otherwise. Nah, no way. Whatever the world may think of me, I'm still a gallant soldier of Torna. I don't care if I sit directly under Lord Adam, I will not abandon my duty so easily. And again, just thinking about those naps. And now I'm torn. I have to sleep on this man. If, you decide, if I decide to join up, I'll just head over to the militia camp, yeah? I decide to join, I will join, but you'll see me there, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. The potter. Oh, you found the materials for me. How terribly kind of you. Now I can finally fulfill that old promise. Will you be okay? Is there anything else we can help you with? No, no, young lady. I'm quite all right. Thank you for asking. You'd never face him again if I broke that promise. What would he think of me? I don't mean to pry, but who is he? He was my husband. I haven't seen him in decades. Your husband? One day, years ago, he came home saying he was taken over the family inn and would, wouldn't I like to help out there? I'd just become a potter, you see, and that was all I wanted to do. So I never wanted, all I ever wanted to do. So I sent him packing. Told him maybe one day when I created my finest work, I might come back to him. And that was that? He hasn't tried to find you since then? Well, maybe he knew that wasn't the whole story. Thinking about my finest work was just an excuse. Truth is, I didn't hate the idea of working at the inn. I just hated that he took it for granted that I would do it. He didn't consider my work important. And I hurt most of all because I loved him. I truly did. I see. But look at me rambling on at you. It's been a while since I talked about that. And I finished the vase. Will you tell, uh, take it to him? Say, here it is. Marie... Muriel's finest work. I'm afraid we'll have to decline that request. Huh? What do you want about Minoth? You made the promise. You should deliver the vase yourself. You want me to... After all these years? Doesn't matter how many years it's been. You're here now, aren't you? Still time for you to make good on your promise. Do it now, before it's really too late. He's still upset about the Questa. Laura and Adam are two of the most kind-hearted fools you'll ever met, you've ever met. So of course they'd want to help you. They'd do everything in their power to help, and you would just sit back and let them. <laughs> Very well. I suppose it can, wouldn't hurt to get some exercise. Would you give me a few minutes? I need to gather my things. You haven't even made the vase yet, or have you? I don't even know. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go find my husband. Are you sure you'll be all right walking all that way? Yeah, it should be at the Inn and Harbor, so it isn't all that far. I'll be fine with you youngsters to help me. Harbor? Does that mean your husband is... <laughs> I haven't been back since the day we split up. You may be witness to a bit of a scene, but I hope you'll stick by me. Ooh, was not expecting that. Okay. And Hyper, but there's something out in front here, and we got too close. <sighs> it looks as if we're almost ready to proceed with the evacuation. If it wasn't for all your support, we might have never been able to pull this off. I thank you in the name of Torna. I don't know why you're thanking me. I'm a knight now. I'm a knight now, remember? And you know what else? I'm really starting to like this place. You get to see so many different walks of life here. It's a real melting pot. I noticed that. So many intertwining lives all together in one place. I felt the same about the cities of Moradain. There's much to, much to like about their urban environs. Making me want to pay a visit now. Then we can all go together. We'll finish off Malice and take Hugo back home personally. Oh yes, please. We will welcome you with open arms. The streets will be awash with cheer. 
Ah, I, I'd appreciate if we could skip all the formal stuff. Hey, listen. Do you think we'll even stand a chance against Melos? Having a clue. His power seems so far off the charts, I couldn't even guess. He still has his limits, and besides, Adam's never been able to handle me as effectively as he can now. That's right! Master Adam's more than prepared to take that creep down! We'll be right there for watch it to watch it happen, won't we, Mick? Well, we've come this far. May as well see you through. Those lads. You're not serious. Do you know how dangerous it has to be to be even remotely near Malos? Just by tagging along with us, you're putting your lives on the line. Oh, and I suppose we've been perfectly safe up till now, have we? You know, we, we know what we're getting into, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Mithra, drop it. Come on, let's head back to the inn. I want to have a good night's sleep before the decisive battle. Very wise. Really have to talk this through with Mikhail and Milton. Oh, great. Hopefully that's not a walk into the in thing. Hopefully it's a talk to the guy. It looks like a talk to the guy. Because I really don't... Oh, it's you! Really? Okay. Hello there! Been a while! How you holding up? Huh? What am I doing in the capital? Well, I travel where the winds take me, searching the world for treasure, like some kind of covetous tumbleweed. Every, but every tumbleweed needs a base of sorts for, to adventure from. No, wait. Suddenly the metaphor breaks down. Anyway, what I'm saying is this rootless wanderer is looking for someone to belong right now. Beg pardon? Why don't I join the militia, then? <laughs> good one, friend! I uh, love a good chuckle! Can you imagine? Me in the militia? <laughs> now that you mention it. Might be a nice change from selfish tumble readery. Put down roots and protect something bigger than myself. So I'm not used to roots. Off them all the silver. So I would can't have my answer just yet. Let me get back to you, okay? Oh, don't make that face. I know the militia camp is. If I decide to accept your invitation, I'll go straight there. But if I tumble away in the night, you never see me again. Well, that too will be your answer. Okay, so that's everyone for that one. Let's grab some materials and double check the quest list. See where we're going next. Probably back to Aletta. All right, make a thing, Hyber Village, Aletta and make a thing. So let's go to Hyber and then Aletta. Door to inn. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, very odd. The inn's open, but no one's around. I hope nothing's happened to him. But here, miss, we'll have a look around. I'm not sure if it means anything, but I spotted some footprints out front. Maybe they lead somewhere. Got sharp, sharp pair of eyes there, missus. <laughs> I was just so nervous about seeing my husband again, I had my eyes fixed on the ground. I just don't know how I'll feel when I see him, or how I should behave. Feels like being a young woman again, even though I know I can't turn back time. Okay. Oh, and there she is. Uh... We should probably track this quest. Okay, hold on. Tiger winged helmet. Hmm. Oh, we took level three ones. They know it's a late game thing. Ah. The person footprints, they tend to be in a straight line. <laughs> I'm tempted to do the campsite thing right now, but if I finish this quest first, I'll get another recipe I can check out.
Oh. Tio! He's moving. Hey there, are you alright? <coughs> Breathe! Let me see him. Healer, do the healing! His breathing sounds all wrong. There might be something blocking his windpipe. What should we do? What if he's having some kind of seizure? Shall I fetch a doctor? It's no use, we'll never make it in time. We'll have to perform first aid ourselves. Hey, what do we do? What do we need? Ideally, something to soothe, soothe his throat. We need to help him breathe either, easier. Grab this first. Oh! Okay, we have a lot of these, so that's good. 20. Oh, just, just do all these. Phew! I really thought the Grim Reaper was coming for me this time. Whoa there, you okay standing up? Should probably take it easy, old man. Oh, don't worry about me. I feel much better now, thanks to you. I have these funny turns sometimes. I just need a little rest. I think I'm as right as rain. You should absolutely get some rest, but you should know you have a visitor. Visitor? You mean a guest at the inn? Ah, oh, blast. It means I've been wasting all this time. Uh, wait, they've been waiting all this time. To hurry back. Woo! <laughs> hey, you can't go running off on your own again. Uh, Laura? Laura? Oh, let's go. Jan, come with me. We might need you. Of course. I mean, aren't we all going? The fuck? You really wouldn't think he was lying helpless on the ground two seconds ago. He's young in spirit. Not a bad thing at all. It's a bit worrying, though, isn't it? Well, we came here to help, so we'll have to do just that. More ways than one. And switching between all these different voices is not easy. <laughs> really I know we need nest extract, so I'm about to fight this thing. Wow. Didn't even take so long as to, uh, generate any more enemies. You know what? Start off with you. Boom. Done. Uh, yeah, let's get these two. Why not? Fight a bunch of nests. Good. We go down quick and we... Is that an arctic sword? What? Also, isn't that the same as the one that... Yeah. I just got a common one when I have a legendary one and not switching to it yet because I don't have another good for a lightning thing. I need someone to have lightning so I don't lose it. Lightning and earth need to go on the uh, drivers. You have to say. I hear rumors about you folks even way out here in the boonies. I may look like a simple farmer, but I'm an adventurer at heart. I even know a little bit about combat. I knew enough to pick up on the fact that you folks were in run of the mill travelers anyway. And I got enough wiles to see that you're not just getting on the pure strength either. Any fighter has the compassion to come all the way out here and chat, especially in my books. You inspire us, you know. I know it's not the same, but I want to keep working hard, just like you folks. I saw smoke coming from the capital. Big black shadows flying around. 
You're this scary. Is everyone okay? Gotta be okay, or else you wouldn't be here, right? I'm scared the Harbour Village is gonna be attacked too. So, I'm only just noticing this now, but... One of the really annoying things about the dialogue like this with random people in the, uh... In the main game is the, like, stock lines of dialogue that they would throw in from the, from the, main, from the main characters. We don't get that in this DLC, and I'm good with that. Hold on. Can't be. For real, is that you? It's been too long, to you. You look older. As do I. Well, I never. Well, I never. What's the occasion? You finish your best work? I've been waiting to see that. You've been waiting. Even though I didn't write to you even once. You've never been waiting all this time. <laughs> I know when you're pulling my leg. Ho <laughs> ho! You've not changed either. You still laugh when you're embarrassed. Let's go inside and talk. Hmm. So you're ill. And you still came all the way to see me. It's all thanks to these youngsters. You're not dead yet, so why not do what you can when you're still alive? That's what they said to me. I think I chose my words a little more carefully. Did you really? I couldn't tell. Everyone, I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to you all. When you get as old as we are, you get so tangled up in obligations it feels as if you can't move anymore. You get used to glossing over difficult things, or giving up entirely. Now that is no good at all for either of us. It's true. We we're both too wrapped up in our own lives. How about it, Morel? Why don't you stay here tonight? We have years and years of stories to swap. And I want your expert opinion on where to display your vice. Theo, are you sure? Damn it, I've got something in my eye. Shall we leave these two alone? Wait! Something's been nagging me this whole time. Haven't I seen you before in Indol? I have! I'm sure I have! With someone called Costa Amalthus. He helped me when I slipped on some stairs. When you was attendant, he was so kind. How is he? Don't worry. Whatever your the past deeds, all souls will attain salvation. I believe that with all my heart. Yeah, take this. Where else Clay Bell? What's this? It's only a little thing. I made it once to ward off evil and invite happiness. I don't need it anymore. May your path be blessed from this day on. Community game, Morale, so and Tail. Nice, look at all those. Oh, we got a new quest over here with uh, Geo. Really? Huh, interesting. Right, and cook off. And... All right, cool, cool, cool. Only two for the next level. Man, we're really breezing through this. <laughs> Garnet chip. Hmm, for you. Okay. Let's check that chip out. Oh, wow, that's a big boost. It halves your critical rate, though. So maybe. It's a maybe. Um, not that big of a boost and gets rid of the ability that I want you to have. That's pretty good for you. Um, can't be dropping that block rate. All right. You're going to uh, Jin and um, Mithra. Oh, increases battle experience by 10%. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm going to... Uh, should I head back? I don't think the one in the quest in Aletta is... Uh, yeah, I'm going to head back this way. I don't think it gives me any recipes, but 
Need to go here anyway. Yeah, no recipes from that. And it's back up there. Cool. Don't know if I'm going to rest, but I am going to do this. I can make the cake already. I'm going to make two. It takes a little ingredients that I have so many of making three of them. But you, I need that fucking barbed tomato. I knew it. I knew that's what I'd be missing. I didn't know that I'd have the beast and bird meat. But I gotta make sure I don't use those anywhere else. Make the energy stir fry. That is just nest extract. Okay. Tiger wing helmet needs sun cogs. Well, I know where to get those. Sure, I'll get them when I go back. Oh, and that's also battle experience. I can make this because of the nest. Uh, but it uses buffalo beast meat. It uses two. And this needs also two. So I have enough to do one of these. Scarlet Rocket, increase running speed! Yes! Uh... Yeah. Yeah, worth it. Pestronella oil. I can make two of these. We still need the Marin fish meat for what we're missing here. Why is there something new here again? We're almost at the final showdown, Nick! Yeah. Excited? Maybe a bit. Gotta make sure we don't get in, so in anyone's way when the action's going down. Yeah, I'll try. Alright, let's go! Oh, slow down, what's the hurry? First we have to head back to the capital and get some much needed rest at the inn. But Laura, we're not tired! Now, now. We won't be malice unless we're all operating at peak performance. We can't lose concentration for an instant, or we could be, or it could be the last mistake we ever made. So let's rest up. Okay, Laura, I get it. Hear that, Mick? We're gonna go rest now. Cool. Except we're not. Uh, da, da, da. Um, right. So is that? We're gonna go complete this quest here in Aletta. Then we're going to go and find stuff we need for other things to craft, including the other part of that thing. What the hell? Oh, did I make everything she can make? It was petronella oil the last thing? Indeed. Okay. 15 overkills? Oh man, I barely ever use chain attacks. Finisher, and use that. Three more things from him. I need the fucking Marin fish meat. There's two more locations to discover. Interesting. And only two more characters to meet for the uh, community list. Hmm. Yep, yeah, and the one thing that I haven't made yet will be the last thing for that actually participate in a chain attack. Mm. We're missing two of your recipes to get that. We'll see about that. And actually get all 88 in the community. C2 is a lot, though. I think you have the least on your chart. You were also the last to join us, so that makes sense. 
Okay. Oh, what do you have to say? I think there would be a monster attack. Thank you all for lending us your strength. Oh, and the kids let me in on all the details. My duties elsewhere and wasn't here at the time. At least it seems like the enemy didn't have it together. The attack, the other leaders I know I met, come up with a plan from here on out. I mean, Augustus seemed riled up and eager to iron out a plan. Not sure I've ever seen him so worked up. Well, I missed. Lieutenant, how goes? I think we've spoken to all people of promise in the whole of the capital. Oh, thank you, Lord Adam, everyone. Unfortunately, it is yet unclear as to who who of them will actually answer the call. But I think if uh, think that if anyone were to come, they should most likely do so soon. Do you mind if we wait here for them? I'd quite like to see if any of the people I selected will ultimately meet your approval, Lieutenant. Of course, my lord. I'd be honored. I still don't think I've chosen the right voice for her. I knew he'd show up. Hey, dudes! So I totally couldn't shake the image of you all, be you all being cool in the capital, so here I am. Thank you for choosing the militia. I had a good feeling about you from the start, friend. Use the militia barracks, then. Sweet. It's one on Army's HQ. Got nothing but on this bad boy for a wall. Bad boy of a wall. Looking good, looking good. Maggot! You will mind your language when talking to your superiors or you'll get the lash! Yeah! Who's this mean little bag? What did I just say? I'll show you who I am, an architect help you if you'll forget! Adam, was this Franco there all along, or is this her evil twin sister? Ah, you see, she was a Uriah Army drill sergeant in her past life. That's the only way she knows how to talk to her men. I... at least there'll be discipline, I suppose. So who do, uh, so who do you think you are, then? Alright, sorry... I'm Luke, and I want to join up, if that's alright by you. This is the army, you dog. You call me mom at all times, that understood? Yes, ma'am. You learn quick, at least. I'll make a soldier out of you yet. Alright, then you're in. Run along now. Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Adam, are we sure this is okay? Uh, well, I think she likes him, actually. I imagine things will work out. What makes you say that? <laughs> this is Isabella, an adventurer, formerly blessed with quite a restless spirit. You're the boss, eh, right? I can further seven with you. Right, right. Right, right. And if Lord Adams thinks you can, you have what it takes, and I cannot argue, you should do nicely. I hope this whole militia thing doesn't prove a massive waste of my talents. That makes two new recruits, then. It's like pulling teeth. You really think we'll make it to six? Do I have to do all of this? Oh, alright. Okay, they all showed up. <laughs> it's not over until no pawn lady sing. In this case, it refers to a rival of us. Oh, look, the no pawn siblings have decided to show up. Bunch of no pawn? I see, I see. Quite a shrewd idea, Lord Adam, nabbing all four of it, all four at once. What are your names, Sloth Dogs? I really gotta settle on a voice for her, it's not working. Meh, <laughs> I'm quite happy you ask. Grant Ruru ear friends then and Ruru will happily. No, stop right there, I don't care now. What are those outfits you're wearing? Meh, <laughs> meh, we were just trying to answer a question. Please to ask, one, ask questions one at a time. Yeah, I think it, you need a serious attitude. Oh, fucking, what voice fits for her, goddammit? Um. You need a serious attitude adjustment. I think I'll start with your clothes. Get into uniform, right the hell now. Yes, ma'am, pon. Ma'am, pon. Ugh. We get to see them in uniform? Oh, damn, all right. That works. Does uniform make Ruru really look fat? Hmm. It will suffice. I don't think your lives will change. And she joined our ranks. You may not... Fucking... I almost had it before. You might not be fighters, but I'll make damn sure to whip you into shape. Eek, scary lady, scary! 
Could baby tone down the scary? Quiet now, a lady talking. First, you'll clean up this whole base. You can miss a spot, I'll dock your food allowance. Yes, understood. All right, no problem. I have to work hard. No food to eat is fate, wor fate words and death. I hope those four will be okay. I wouldn't worry. I have a feeling they'll quickly learn to use their restlessness for good. This may bring out the best in them. And last but not least, nope, that's all of them. That is six. So, Lord Adam, it seems all six of the new recruits you found are men of men and women of substance. I think these reinforcements will serve to serve to improve the militia's fighting spirit immeasurably. Yeah, that's definitely closer. Now we may not be able to return here for a good while, Lieutenant. I trust you to keep things running in my absence. Count on it, Lord. Safe travels, and we'll all see you on the other side. Yep, no, I got I got there in the end. I got there in the end. Oh, they're all one? Truru and his brothers. Head Muscapon. Luke. And Vronka. We already had the other girl. <laughs> Community level up! We're level five now! Oh, and there's at least one person over here who will join if we go and talk to him. Oh, the Special Inquisitor! Aureus Palace. Oh, wait, he's over there now. He used to be over here. Huh. And Geo, right? You have a new quest for us. Right. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Tales of your bravery have reached us even here, you know. I don't think there's a soul in Torna who doesn't know the names of Lord Adam and Lady Laura. We've got it well in hand here. If a ladder comes under threat, we've got plans to evacuate the civilians left there, left there in Archipelago. Well then, Adam, everyone, fair fortune all. Right, that is canon that they go there. Though they also go to, uh... Fuck, what was the other place? The Turtle. Actually forgetting the name of that country. Lord Adam, Lady Laura, it'll soon be time for me to depart. I must set off for more Dane to see my sick grandmother. Under the circumstances, it's heartbreaking for me to leave Torna. I go with great reluctance. However, as the, as the others in the mansion tell me, parting is one of life's sweet sorrows. I should not be too glum. So I will go, hoping to be reunited with you all while I take care of my duty. While I am away, I will continue to pray for your safety. I will offer a daily prayer to the Titan. Someday I will hear your heroic tales once more, Lord Adam. I promise. Yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, hello there. The boss has really been helping out around here, has he? I knew you lot was something a bit out of the ordinary. And so on, I was touting the coexistence of blades and people. But no one personifies that quite like you. Will needs to know how things should be between blades and people. Please keep showing up, showing us the way. All right. Oop! There they are. Now oh, they have weapons now, or are those brooms? Who knows? Meh meh, Franco lady, make uh, Franco lady, make Ruru work like Packard in. No time left to play or do mischiefs. But many many people are very thankful for Four Muscapon for hard working. First time Ruru really get thanks like that. Even best mischiefs were never appreciated before. Thanks, actually, nice thing to get. Feel fussy good. Yeah, there we go. All right, I, I've been giving this guy the wrong voice. I've been close, but no cigar. So let's give him a new one here. Ever since you got you helped out here, the gossip's been crazy. Everyone's been talking about you guys. I used to think the best way to help people is to join the army. Now, seeing all you drivers and blades in action, I think that's totally groovy, too. I don't know. I mean, Surfer Dude works, but the groovy part. That's what I need to aim towards. I don't know if I really have the skills to be a driver. Well, I'm going to do my best, so if I ever get hold of a core crystal, I can be a leader of a militia like Lord Adam. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Barb Tomato. 
I need to figure out where that is. Also want to take a look here. Right, we can go and do this now. And then there's you. I need the barbed tomato for. Give me a moment! Between Torgoth Village and Torgoth Cemetery. As well as far north as the Titan Hill. Okay. We'll go there then. I do want to actually look up that quest though. What was it called? Great Corn Torn Tornin Cookoff. I want to see if uh, one of them will be better than the other. Oh, one of them is definitely better than the other. Route B. Oh, interesting. I won't spoil why, but we definitely need the fried Tataria a la Jin, which um, is the one we haven't made yet. gonna go here and just get everything everywhere <laughs> pretty much I know I also need sun cogs for something so that's back in the city Like, I know it's not going to be at the mineral deposit, but I'm getting it anyway, because why the hell not? I'm here, am I not? Also, just in case we need muscle branches. Thing is, it's a legendary thing, so level three botany will be helping, but well, it said between Torgoth and the cemetery, so maybe uh, in Torgoth isn't where we get it. Say out here. It's a yellow spot, so that should be rare stuff. Except not. Barb tomato. Hmm. 
That's all those spots. How many did we get? One. I think we need at least two. So what I'm going to do, especially I'm going to go down here. I know there's no easy way back up. There's other collection points along the way, including a machine. Which I wanted. And uh, we'll either, uh, we'll probably just skip travel back up that way. And it might refresh things. Mostly, I know there's a machine down here. Yes, then. Hmm. We're also apparently up by Titan's Roar. It's probably stone, but still check. Nope, it's veggies. Barbed tomatoes. There we go. That's probably enough. Um, right. I also want sun cogs before I do anything else, so I'll at least try this. Don't know how many we'll get, like if we'll get enough, but uh... I wish I could check the stuff in my uh, inventory just to see what I need. Oh, hello Chalcedoni, back up here I see. Hey my big bro, I've got this area locked down. None shall pass, not even a mouse or a rat. You know, it's not just the gate we're protecting here, it's the future. Future of the capital of Torna. It's worth protecting. As important as marching out into battle, my brother says. To be honest, I'm still a little bit apprehensive about meeting the enemy. But it's nothing compared to you guys. You gotta get right up in the enemy's face. That must be tough. But I hope the fortune fa always favors you in battle. Fare thee well. Yep, yep, yep. There were no sun cogs in that. Now I is there, there's no other machine point, is there? Hmm. Well, there's other stuff for us to do here other than the cooking competition, right? Uh. No, that's in a different place. So, yeah, we'll do that and then probably come back. All right, that's not a machine. It's fish. No, I'm it. Up, oh, up. Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay. And hey, what's this? Oh, right. New, new quest. That was the other thing that was over here. Oh, it's you guys. You're really making a name for yourselves lately. I heard about the evacuation ship Yelp put together. People can't seem to stop talking about it. I hope they're saying good things, though I suspect the truth is a little more complicated than that. Ha! You're a sharp one! Of course, there are lots of folks who are real grateful to you. People like being prepared for an emergency. There are plenty of people who can't or won't leave the city. Something should be done to help them. No should, something will be done. Morumo is chairman of Commerce here. Role include obligation to make sure all folk able to live restful, peaceful lives. To that end, Morumo have wonderful idea. Only had to skip five meetings to come up with idea. What we need is impregnable shelter. I'm not so sure you should be skipping all those meetings. Morumo will read minutes of meetings later. Or not. Anyway, that not current action point. I certainly like the idea of building an emergency shelter in the middle of town. Seems like you lot could help. First thing we need is shelter. Uh, 
First thing we need for shelter is help a builder. Maybe ask Waiten? Waiten? That name is familiar. Isn't he like his father? Remember how her blade named the Waitree in, in honor of him? You know, lawyer? I should have guessed. You got the right Waiten at any rate. He's one of the district's foremost artisans, but he's, uh, tricky. Hehe. <laughs> Hehehe. No way. Marumo and Waiten are walkie stroll buddies. He'd definitely lend hand to Endeavor. Okay, then. I, we'll go and talk to Waiten, I guess. Safety measures! Alright, we'll track it, because it's here in the city. That'll just help. This guy! Right! Oi, I know Marumo! But even if I wanted to help you, which I don't, I couldn't. Won't help nobody who helped them ran, has ran away from the capital. Not even Prince Adam begging your pardon. You run around telling people what they want to hear, but you don't have us no have no interest in actually protecting us. People who want to save everyone end up saving no one. That's where you're headed, mark my words. Eh, said my piece, get off home. Well fuck you. Uh Marumo. Nope. Geo. Guess what? He's an asshole. Yeah, I have to say, I saw this coming. This isn't gonna be easy. Wayne's an old, as old school as they come. Stubborn old gulp, that one. Lighter usually acts as intermediary, but... Wait, I seem to remember him mentioning Lighter was the reason he couldn't leave the capital. Could it be he's just worried about her? It can't be easy with your only daughter off adventuring. Hate to trouble you, but if you're running to Lighter somewhere on your travels, could you ask her to pay a visit home? She's probably in Gormont. How do I know? Because that's where I told her to go. Go to Gormont, see the world! Yeah, that's where we met her. Okay. There was a cutscene, so I'm checking the collection point again. But yeah, I guess we'll be bringing uh, Lyda home. Aha! No sun cogs. Is that a, is it a time of day thing? It'd be weird if it was, but it could be. Wait, what? What's up? That, that wasn't there before. Uh, got a few minutes, I guess. Okay. This guy! I knew he was going to give us a quest eventually! What do you got, Jerry? What do you got for me? It's true, if you, go you lot get around, don't you? Seems not a day goes by I don't hear your names. Can you lend me a hand? Oh wait, we got to community level 5. I knew- that- I called it! I fucking called it! Then when the community level got high enough, he would give us a quest. Mutton Dance and no good drongo who killed my poor sister. Tracked him as far as Tornor, lost the trail. Folks call him the Silent Spectre. He yeah, adds a, a pleasant bunch known as the Bloody Lobsters. That's all I got. Wait, the Bloody Lobsters? Fucking hell, the Bloody Lobsters! Silent Spectre- Wait a second. I think we're about to meet a rare blade from the main game, Percival. Well... If, if that's true, then I called it. <laughs> Feels like I searched every corner of this time for a year or more. Still no clues. Maybe you can help me out. Easiest way to get help is probably gather info. Stick to people who, ju who just arrived in town and see what they know. But listen up. If you find something out, don't go chasing him, okay? Come let me know. He's mine, got that? I want to deal with him in my own hands. What goes around, comes around. Uh, yeah, I'll track you. Because I got to talk to people here, right? Uh, yeah, let's go up there first. Oh, I, I, I thought they were gone for a second, but they disappeared. Our 
were saying before how the squad had gone downhill, but it's picked up a bit lately. Everyone's doing a bit. I guess we've just stayed a little while lately. He's no layabouts had to change their tune. Sure, we've had a few leave, but we've also been getting some new blood. That's real good for the squad. This lot might not be the toughest in the world, but they know what they're fighting for. That's a good start. It's no good if you, if you don't know what, you're, what you've got till it's gone. We need people who are smarter than that. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I see. You want us to talk to both of these guys, huh? Hmm. The bloody... What was it again? They're a new actor troupe, right? I've heard they're good. Lyrical geniuses by the sound of it. So you're trying to track these bloody thingies down? Say no more, buddy. I'll ha happily lend a helping hand. If I hear anything about the bloody thingies, I'll be sure to let you know. In detail. Fantastic detail. Yeah, right. How about the helpful one? Silent Spectre, eh? I see. Sorry, can't help you. Got my hands full with look, uh, looking after my partner. I don't have time to care about other goings on. What I know, you won't find normal folks who know anything about what you're looking for, though. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, it's around nine. Should probably be done. We'll have some longer streams tomorrow, but I will most likely not be streaming on Saturday. Um, I don't entirely know how my day is going to go, but I will not be home for most of it. Meh! Bloody love, sirs! Take you, take you! Sound delicious! Though, please wipe it off blood before boiling in butter. Meh, meh! Now food! Take you, take you! Properly got it! <laughs> Excellent. I'm gonna ask Omnom. Oh, no. He's not... Not here. Oh, that must be down below. I'm not ready to go in there yet in case the other thing triggers. I might take a look. I'm not I'm not trusting it yet. I mean, it's the one I'm tracking, so yeah, it has to be that, yeah? What? Bloody lobsters! Oh, that ingredient! It's all in the seafood, makes it from the sound of it. Probably makes a nice chowder. What? Not food? I feel it shows not some kind of ingredient. Should ask nice, but everyone knows the underworld. Someone who knows the underworld. Okay. Bloody lobsters! Of course, my Mimi, no! Very, very tear bad people! But my Mimi grow up! One more point, always say naughty little pawn gets snatched by bloody lobsters! Scary! Silent Spectre! They make my Mimi do little BB bone in pants! But sadly, have no information for friends! Wait, don't tell my Mimi! Friends also tear bad people? If friends buy words from my Mimi, then maybe guilty hearts of friends will be sued! Pfft, you're funny. Alrighty. Um. So the only other person to talk to is in the inn, and in case the other quest triggers in there, we don't have all the stuff for it. So I'm going to go and make that stuff first. Where else did we need to go for something? Just gonna go here, do my crafting. I'm actually gonna rest, I think, and then we'll be done for the night. Okay, only needed one. Still need the two sun cogs for that. Damn. Fucking Marin fish meat. I 
All right, as I thought. Oh, just one level. That's good enough for me. Okay. Great Tornin cook off. Oh shit. Oh right, that was his last thing for that. Nice. Okay. Um Quickly going through all these. Nope. All right. This was mostly just to go to a camp. Um, but uh, no, don't go straight to the map. Go to quest. I just want to make sure we're in the right place for what I want to do starting tomorrow. Talking to people here. You. What was safety measures? Right! Gormot. Um... You can probably get these two moving on next time. Though I would have to go back to these guys after doing this. I gotta use it. So I'm gonna track this. And bring us to Hyber Village. That'll be the closest way to get there. And then we'll end the stream. Oh, we'll also talk to those guys next time. Uh, give me a good shot. Oh yeah, just looking up works. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? Take your positions. That'll do. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> many options. Ooh, many more than they show me there. Ah. Looks like Prism's play is playing some little night, little nightmares too. Um, probably the DLC. I remember she actually beat the game itself. Um, and they're just starting stream. We are we are right at the beginning. Excellent. Go give her some love. All right. Until next time, folks. This is the Pirate King. Signing off. Have a good night.